What's happening guys, it's Jack and Andy here from Golf Magic. Uh, today's video is a bit of a different one. Andy and I want to discuss with you guys about the importance of custom fitting. Now, there's a lot of new exciting technology out there this year in the golf industry. It's expensive, we know you're all excited about it, but it's really crucial that you don't just go and buy them off the shelves and that you actually get custom fitted for them. So Andy and I uh, recently were invited to the Silvermere Golf Complex where we had a tailor-made custom fitting experience. Uh, was with Jamie Northcote, who is a PJ professional. And he was also the custom fitting manager down at Silvermere. Uh, so before we continue, let's just hear a few words from Jamie about why custom fitting is so important. The biggest factor for me is that everybody's different. So, you know, guy comes in, six foot seven, guy comes in, he's five foot four. Um, they're going to ultimately, you know, be different physically. But also, two guys that walk in that are similar height, similar build, they're going to swing it differently. Mm. So we need to make sure the club is fine-tuned in terms of off the length fly, making sure that shaft is correct um, to help maximise performance. And I think the simple thing is there is not necessarily a right or wrong um, answer all the time. It's, it's gauging the performance, finding out what we want to achieve, and hopefully ticking the boxes and, and mm. finding that out. Okay, so you've heard from Jamie. Uh, now on to our custom fitting experience. Now, uh, when we both got down there, some of the things I was looking for. Now, I'm a single figure handicap golfer. Um, I play most weekends, as Andy knows. Um, but as for a, quite a tall golfer, I feel like I'm not quite getting as much distance out of my iron as I could. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's something that I wanted to focus on. Um, I know I needed a player's iron, but with a little bit more forgiveness than a blade. Um, but yeah, I really want to focus on um, distance. But Andy, you were focused on something completely different for yours. Wasn't yeah, you? I mean, I'm not playing a, a great deal of golf, as you know, Jack, certainly not compared to you. Um, and be struggling with back injuries and stuff. So just finding a golf club that was really going to allow me to just uh, take effortless, effortless swings, uh, improve my spin, improve my launch. My, mm. my bad shot is a low one. You know, I'm always praying the yeah, pins yeah. at the back of a green. So yeah, slightly different to you. Mm, definitely. Um, so before I show you uh, some stats that I got, let's go back to Jamie and see what he thought we needed to focus on for my custom fitting experience. So main key was definitely ball speed increase. Uh, looking at current irons, um, definitely we weren't efficient with the swing speed that you've got um, and gaining around 10 miles an hour, which was fantastic, equating to around 20 yards. Um, and I think, you know, fundamentally we did that by, we gave you a head that you liked, um, which was similar in, in look to what you've been playing, um, but on the high tech end of, of what we can do, mm. hollow head construction in the P790. Um, just really gets the ball out there, gives you some forgiveness with a, with a look you like, but then looking at shaft, you know, so going a little bit heavier based on the quick transition that you have, and then a little bit stronger than what you've been used to as well, just to help you control the club. So just to summarise what uh, Jamie was saying there, basically he's saying that the shaft that was in my, what well, was my current iron, which was a Titleist AP2 that I wasn't custom fitted for, uh, wasn't strong enough to keep up with my fast swing speed, yep. meaning I'm losing out on ball speed, meaning I'm losing out on distance as well. So I'm now going to show you a comparison. We used a Foresight GC Quad, uh, really precise data down yep. at Silvermere, um, just to compare after he tweaked with the, uh, the P790 uh, what the results I was getting. So, yep. so like I said, starting off with um, the Titleist AP2, I uh, wasn't custom fitted for these. These are bought off the, off the shelf, been using these for around a year now. Um, I had a club speed of 92 miles per hour. Uh, this is always a seven iron, by the way. Uh, so 92 miles per hour club speed. Um, ball speed, 114 miles per hour. A carry of 154 and a total yardage of 160. So for someone who's six foot three, uh, some very average um, iron stats, I think, there. Um, now, Jamie knew I needed a heavier shaft straight away. Uh, also thought it needed to be slightly longer. So he gave me a club that was uh, half an inch longer. Um, I used a Project X 6.0 shaft in the TaylorMade P790, quite a heavy shaft. Uh, so now I'll just show you what my averages ended up being after Jamie had tweaked with that. So I had a club speed, it was a little bit faster at 94 miles per hour. Uh, now this is the big one for me, this is ball speed of 124 miles per hour, meaning that shaft made my swing a lot more efficient, the club was a lot more suited for my swing speed. Um, I had a carry of 170 yards and a total yardage of 174. So as you can see, it's a huge jump there. So the main difference for me there is that ball speed. Now, it's a huge jump, and that's due to the shaft change, um, which means I'm hitting the ball a lot further. A uh, 170 yard carry with a seven iron, for me, I feel that's quite impressive. Um, and I know a lot of you are thinking, the P790 is a player's iron that, is, uh, that promotes speed and distance. It's filled with speed foam, 
So it was always going to be a bit faster than an AP2, but I mean, I tried that out, and you saw, I tried that out with um, quite a few lighter shafts than the Project X 6.0, and my ball speeds were improving, but nothing close to 124. So I'm now kitted out with irons that are perfect for a faster transition like mine, which means when I'm out on the course, I'm going to be getting uh, a lot more distance with my irons, which I wanted, and a lot more consistent shots as well. Absolutely, yeah. So that was my tailor-made custom fitting experience. Um, really happy with the differences I've seen there, the stats. Um, I've actually got these irons now, I've been using that on the course. Um, yep. I can see and feel a massive difference. So big thanks to TaylorMade and Jamie for that. Um, Andy, you was obviously looking for something a lot different for me, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, slightly, slightly different. Jack, I'm, as I say, I'm not playing as much as you. I've um, been struggling with, with my back injury, yeah. but to find a club for me that I can improve my spin rate, get the peak height, uh, get the, the launch angle up yeah. for me was key. Um, as I say, I'm not playing a lot. I just want something that's going to be very easy to hit. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, managed to find that with TaylorMade and Silvermere. Um, but let's see what Jamie had to say about me first. Straight off the bat, struggled with height. So, you know, we're, we're going forgiveness. We're going straight into M6 to make life ice easy. But, you know, looking at the flight, um, definitely a little bit low in the, in the current M2 set. Started having a little play around with some shafts. So, um, Went into a little nip on 950, which straight off the bat, he said, feels great, mm -hmm. looked good. Started looking at numbers. Yes, peak height was up, which was great, um, but also the descent angle. So, you know, some, some true stopping power there. Um, we were a couple of degrees steeper on the descent, so we're starting to move in the right direction. Then jumping into M5, um, a little bit more loft there. You could see the loft was actually being delivered equally at, at impact. Um, so there was a little bit more on there, launching it a little bit higher. Peak height jumped up. Still kept the forgiveness, distance was great, but we, we ended up with a descent angle from about five degrees steeper than where we started. So yeah, those were the thoughts of Jamie on uh, my fitting session at Silvermere. Um, interestingly, I was actually using the M6 head for yeah. quite a while in that fitting session, um, and it was only really towards the end, once mm -hmm. I was comfortable with the, the Nippon 950 shaft, that I thought I'd play around with the heads. and. Uh, given I'm not playing a lot, I did want that forgiveness, um, so I wasn't sure whether the M5 was going to be better fit for me. Yeah. But over the ball, a, a sleeker look, um, and I was still getting the results that I was I was looking for. Mm. So it did surprise me in that regard, uh, and I and I did favour the M5 in the end. Um, so just looking at my results with my unfitted M2 that yeah. I was using compared to the fitted M5. Um, so just looking at my M2 numbers, uh, 86 mile an hour of club head speed. 112 mile an hour of ball speed. Um, as we said earlier, you know, distance, I'm not really looking for uh, improvements in distance. Obviously, if they come, I'll take them. But for me, just having a forgiving and controllable iron that's going to be playable for me was, was key. Uh, 154 yards of carry, uh, equaling uh, 160 yards of total distance, uh, with a spin of 4866. So, so quite, quite low, yeah, really. Yeah. Um, Especially Certainly. when you're looking for a more forgiving iron. Yeah, it? absolutely. Um, but I typically, you know, I, I don't create that much spin. So, um, as you can see from the M5, really, to, to see those numbers go up, you know, nearly 700 uh, RPM of additional spin to 5542, yeah. five, uh, that really does please me. Yeah. Um, you know, my carry and my, my total distance has gone up as well, uh, a small increase in club head speed and ball speed. Um, so for me, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's very pleasing numbers, general feel and my confidence is up as well. The key to me was improving my launch angle and spin rate. I managed to get that and I've, I've now got um, a set of irons that I'm very, very happy with. Yeah. So guys, that is Andy and I's tailor-made custom fitting experience. Um, both really happy with the irons yep. we've got now. Um, the numbers very improved happy. for both of us, just like we wanted to. Uh, so big thanks to TaylorMade and Silvermere yep. for that. Um, we just want to clear up um, some common misconceptions with custom fitting. Uh, we get a lot of people say to us they think that yeah. custom fitting is A, really expensive, or B, takes too much time. Yep. Uh, I think if you go onto Silvermere's website, you'll, you'll be really surprised at how much these fittings cost. Yeah. And they only take uh, about 45 minutes uh, each fitting. So if you're going to invest in clubs this year, I mean, new technology this year, as you've seen from some of our reviews, yep. they're so expensive. Um, yeah. So it really is worth, if you're going to invest in new clubs this year, whether it be yep. just, just a driver or wedges, um, it really is worth getting a custom fitting session. Um, so guys, we hope this has been useful information for you. Um, thank you for watching and stay tuned on Golf Magic for plenty more to come.